So today we're gonna be installing this frontal bob that I got from XRS Beauty Hair. And I got the, the deeper tinted lace. I know that for a fact. I'll link the wig down below. I wanted to try this because I've never done this. Excuse this y'all, this is like previous conditioner. It's just, please. <laughs> okay, I'm struggling, think about me. I want to conquer it. Like these intimidate me so much. I've seen so many bad ones, so I feel like I've told myself already that I can't do it because I want it to look right. But the thing with XRS Beauty is they bleach their knots already. They actually pluck it already. And those are the things that I don't feel like doing. So I was like, okay, well, let me just see how it goes. You know, let me see how it goes and see if I can get it secure enough to where it stays. And like, you know what I'm saying? And y'all know I'm a sweater in the hairline. So I just want to see if this can stand the test of sweat. Thing about frontals is I never could get the side. I can get this because this is what I do all the time. But when it comes to this, I struggle. So they have these things inside the wig, right? Where you can hook this piece to it and it tightens. And then it has, it even has levels of how tight you want it. So you take the two and then you hook it. So I'm going to hook it on this last one. And that should make this wig extremely secure. Boom. So I'm going to put this on. Good. Then you bring this back, hook the comb, boom. Okay. <laughs> um, I dyed the wig jet black because it came to me dark brown. And I want it black. I don't want dark brown bob. I want black bobs. And I put some foundation in it on the inside. The foundation I used is the e.l.f. Oil Free Foundation. I heard you have to use like things that are oil free because it lets it last a little bit longer because oils break down your lace adhesives and glues and things like that. This one in the shade Mocha, which is a little bit darker than me because I like my lace to be a little bit darker uh, than me, so I don't run the risk of it looking orange or like, you know, a tint, a warm tint. I don't want that. Move the hair out of the way. So after I dyed it, washed it, uh, I let it sit in some conditioner for a little while, rinse it out very lightly, and then I put it back on my mannequin head and I straightened it, and this is what we got. It looks like I can make something shake with this. I believe in myself. I can do this. I'm not experienced enough to be talking to y'all while I do this, like I'm not. I'm not that girl. I feel like I do need to cut like right here. So do you do that now? <laughs> do, we... <laughs> do we do that right now? I'm about to do that right now. Really just a little bit. I don't really even need to cut off a lot. Hold on, I'm scared. <laughs> Cause I don't want my hairline coming all the way right here. I don't like that. Okay, let's just cut. I don't sleep in wigs. I don't just be walking around with wigs on and just, no. Unless I'm going somewhere, I'll put a wig on. Like, that's it. But I'm not sleeping in a wig, so I'm not doing no ball cap. Like, I'm not doing none of that. Glueless, ball capless install. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully it's sitting in the right way that it needs to sit. <laughs> oh. 
Is this gonna be bad? What if this is bad? Should I still post this video? Here is where I would usually style the wig, but I honestly don't know what I wanna do. <laughs> what I have noticed, and cause y'all know I'm no lace professional, people don't take section by section hot comb. I saw Tay do that one time and I just thought it was revolutionary. Like hot comb your wig section by section. Like part of section, hot comb it. Part of section, hot comb it. You know, like how can it get any flatter if every single section is hot combed? I feel like everybody should do that. All right, so my makeup is done for the most part. I'm kind of freaking out because I'm about to take this thing off. And yeah, I was gonna add some glow, but do we see the issues here? Like, can you see the issues? Women. <laughs> we never know what the body is gonna feel like doing. So the hair is looking fabulous. Like this hair is bomb, okay? I'm talking about flat, sleek, slick, everything I wanted. So let's just get to it, cause at this point it's gonna be what it's gonna be, okay? <sighs> Moments of truth. Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh. Put a little powder right there, honey. No baby hair on the ones and twos? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh. This really came together. Okay, lessons I've learned. This is really what the key is. I feel like this is why I couldn't get it before. Let stuff dry. Let things dry. Stop going so fast that you can't even let product dry. Cause if you let it dry, it'll really get a chance to lay. I feel like I just didn't let things dry. Oh my gosh. Can I wear this to church? Do you think it could withstand my sway? Hold on, y'all. Let me just finish. I'm about to get emotional. Y'all, this is so cute. It's just wow, 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 wow. The hair is flowing. It's popping. That black luster that I love. This is why I love doing, like, you know, black hair. It's just, it hits differently. This is a first time frontal wearer. Like, I have not done this before. So, like, and I, I've never even gotten the gall to install a frontal. Like you can miss me with frontals. But this was so doable, but like I can do it. And next time I think I wanna cut even more. It's just so crazy how like, cause I could cut even more lace, I feel. I don't know how to install a frontal y'all. I don't, I don't know. I've never done it. This is my first time on camera right now. I've never done this. But I'm just really, I'm gonna just sit here and look at this cause I still don't believe that this is really happening to me right now. Y'all don't understand how far-fetched frontals are for me. All right, I'm out. I gotta go. This is, okay. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna shut up. 